QuiddyTech X Pro. When talking about QuiddyTech X Pro, a lot of things come into consideration. Features that would make you feel blessed with a top 3D printer at the most affordable price. One of the best 3D printers under $1,000, and it can make your designs come to life with the easy 3D printing process. It offers dual extrusion that helps to 3D print with two materials at the same time. This means one can print support material using the filament of choice. The 3D printer helps in a lot of ways. By providing an easier way to conveniently remove the print bed and take the model out gives an easy solution for the post-processing steps. With a total of four cooling fans, the layers are cooled down instantly after being deposited on the print bed, increasing the overall printing speed. Number 4. Bebo Dual Extruder 3D Printer This dual extruder 3D printer comes with laser engraving features as well. Yes, you heard it right. The 3D printer can print objects and parts and can engrave on light materials such as paper, wood, cardboard, etc. With a decent laser engraver that may not be the best in the market, the 3D printer does make some difference. Apart from a dual extruder that lets you print with different colors, the 3D printer also has dual cooling fans. One of the fans is installed in the front of the nozzle and the other at the back of the machine. The cooling features help in working with material that needs high temperature for melting. Bebo Dual Extruder 3D Printer also senses when the printer is powered off in the middle of the printing and when the filament has run out. Number 3. Tier Time UP Mini 2 ES The FDM machine operates clean and is easy to use. With many other 3D printers being introduced these days, very few cater properly to the safety measures, and this compact machine that comes for only around $600 certainly will get your expectations up. Although the budget printer has its own limitations, the benefits that it adds to 3D printing will take all the downsides out of the equation. So, talking about its features, the first thing that comes to mind is the HEPA filter. This is an integral part of the design. So, what is an HEPA filter? This question may raise some eyebrows, but you'd almost be on the same page after learning about the reason for including this filter in the design. This 3D printer can work with ABS material. These materials, when melted, produce harmful fumes and particles. Number two. FlashForge Creator Pro. This 3D printer came into the market in 2014, and since then it's been among the top choice of users, and one of the best 3D printers under $1,000 too. Being the most reliable machine, FlashForge Creator Pro has won many awards, so what makes this 3D printer so popular? Like few other machines on this list, this 3D printer is also equipped with a dual extruder. This provides flexibility to print in different colors and with different materials at the same time. It also saves time and can help in decreasing the overall print time to a considerate amount. Moreover, this compact 3D printer supports plenty of materials. The list includes ABS, PLA, Flex, HIPS, tea glass, as well as composites such as copperfill, woodfill, brassfill, etc. It gives you the freedom to choose from the list of materials and find one which suits your designs better. Number 1. Dremel DigiLab 3D20 the company is focused on education and has manufactured the most useful 3D printer that would suit every lab and household need. However, what is the best part that Dremel DigiLab 3D20 brings to the table? Although the machine comes pre-assembled, it does require quite some effort from the user's end. We wouldn't call it a plug-and-play machine, but it isn't too difficult. Anyone who can follow instructions can set the printer for building its first design. While most of the parts are already installed, one must take care of the bed leveling all by itself, there are no auto calibration features provided in the machine, and once you do that and feed the filament, you can start printing. As the printer is supposed to instill learning among kids and users from all age groups and expertise levels, this printer ensures safety while operating the device. Now that we've shown you the best 3D printers under $1,000, let's talk about a few things you should look for before buying one. Firstly, build volume. Your printer's maximum build size will obviously determine how big your prints can be. Keep in mind that the bigger your prints are, the longer they'll take. Even small prints can require a few hours, so for a big 3D model you may be looking at a few days worth of printing. For an idea of what can be printed, take a look at some of these sites where you can download STL files for free. Note that if your build volume is too small, it's possible to cut models into separate 3D printable files and glue them together after. Secondly, layer thickness and speed. Almost all 3D printers under $1,000 boast similar specs. Minimum layer thicknesses are typically around 0.1mm or 0.05mm for some. The thinner your layers, the better your prints will look and the longer they'll take to print, too. Users tend to print thicker layers anyways to get their prints done more quickly as the difference isn't too noticeable. In slicing software, you can see various layer profiles. Draft quality is around 0.2mm, for example. Minimum print speeds are also quite similar from one printer to another in the sub-$1,000 price range, they're generally between 120mm and 180mm a second, 
but at those speeds you're losing precision and print quality. Recommended speeds for most prints are around 60 mm per second or slower for highly detailed prints. If you want small detailed prints with excellent surface quality, you should look into resin 3D printers. There are cheap options too, with some resin 3D printers under $1,000.